This is Anthony Olympia with Six String Country. In these lessons, we're gonna be working on I Don't Know About You, a recent hit by Chris Lane. It was written by some of my good friends, Ashley Gorley, Jameson Rogers, Hunter Phelps, and Michael Hardy, uh, songwriter friends here in town in Nashville. Um, and these guys just keep raking in the hits, getting cuts like crazy. And I'm really, really happy for them. So congratulations, dudes. Anyways, moving on. In the rhythm lessons, we're going to be covering both the easy strum stuff, uh, the real basic stuff if you're just strumming it by yourself, by a campfire doing your thing. But if you want to dig into like the finger picking stuff that you hear on the recording, I'll show you how to play that stuff too. And we'll be using capo on the first fret. So you're going to need a capo for this. On the electric guitar stuff, uh, you're gonna, we're going to be tuning our guitar down a half step and dropping the low E string, so it'll be drop C sharp, right? Um, and it's gonna have a really cool tone. We're gonna use a chorus, which I feel like in country music we don't use quite a bit, but there's like this uh, kind of 80s guitar, just cool, different, fresh sort of thing we're gonna do. It's gonna be really fun. And there's a really cool solo too that's just, uh, it's kind of an interesting double stop kind of thing. And we'll dig into that on a, its own lesson. But yeah, let's get started with all this stuff. Talk to a stranger, but when I saw you, I had to, I just had to. Girl, I know your favorite beer, cause you told me and I bought it. You can leave me sitting right here, but if you feel like talking, what's your name? What's your sign? What's your birthday? What's your wrist tattoo? Bible verse. Tell me this, do you kiss on the first day? Don't hold anything back What's your dream job, girl? Where's your hometown? Yeah, what makes your world spin around and around? And are you down to get out of here too? Tell me everything so there's nothing I don't know about you This is the rhythm lesson for I Don't Know About You. First things first, we're going to be putting our capo on the first fret because um, the song is in the key of C sharp and we're gonna be playing uh, key of C chords. Um, I am gonna give you an option here in a little while if you just wanna play the basic like easy strum kind of stuff, just chords and strums, we'll get into that. And we'll also dig into um, the finger picking part that you hear on the record. The Right, it's a really cool part. And I'll, I'll explain kind of where I, how I figured that out too. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go ahead and dig in there. If you are wanting to just work on the strum stuff, flip forward about uh, <laughs> five minutes or so. Um, but yeah, like uh, kind of the same part, but different. You know, each one is kind of similar. And those little differences make it sound special. And it's hard to accomplish that with just one guitar. But I did my absolute best. Um, to make that happen. It's kind of like a loose double, you know what I mean? Kind of like you would double a vocal. It's a loose guitar vocal. But I think it sounds pretty cool. Anyways, so it starts out a lot like the intro does, where it's the first fret of the low E, third fret of the A, second fret of the G. Play those together. But now hit the low E first fret one more time. And then fourth fret of the G. And then hit the third fret of the A, first fret of the B together. Third fret of the A by itself, open G. Do that slide up, third fret of the D and B, slide up the fifth fret. Fifth fret of the D, and then open G. Okay, now this is something very different. We're gonna go open A string, second fret of the G. And then open A again, first fret of the B. And now a weird stretch here. Third fret of the low E, fourth fret of the G together. With that held down, we're gonna have our first finger on the B string, so with that held down there, first fret of the B, fourth fret of the G then, back to first fret of the B, back to the fourth fret of the G, slide down to the second fret and then open G. So, this is where I noticed like, this has to either be an open tuning or just a different get to second verse, I'll strum there. Alrighty. Okay, so intro, two, ready, go.
right? Now verse one, still doing, uh, doing the finger picking stuff. Here we go, verse one. One, two, ready, go. Right, and that's the part we repeat over and over. Let's, this is the lead guitar lesson for I Don't Know About You. If you wanna work on the solo, that'll be in its own video. It's pretty simple, but we'll definitely give it its own uh, video so we can dig into it properly. Started. We'll start off with the intro. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is the fifth fret of the low E, fourth fret of the G, play it together. Shift that same shape up to where we're now on the 12th fret of the low E, 11th fret of the G. And what I'm doing is using my fingers. Um, you could use your pick. Um, it's just kind of up to you which, which tone you like better. Um, but yeah, so next one we're gonna do is uh, ninth fret of the low E, seventh fret of the G. And then we'll do seventh fret of the low E, sixth fret of the G. Okay, so that two measure thing is what's gonna happen in the intro, the first verse, um, and most of the pre-chorus. At the very end of the pre-chorus, the re really the only difference is when we hit that last um, two, that double stop thing. On beat four, we'll rest and we'll switch our pickup to the, um, to the bridge. But right now, we're on the neck pickup, okay? So yeah, let's slowly do that part um, just so we get it down. Here we go, three, four. Two notes and slide in both of them. So I'm gonna be on the 12th fret of the B in high E. I'm using my first finger for these, by the way, my pointer finger on my left hand. So hit both those strings, uh, 12th fret of the B in high E. Slide that down to the 10th fret, and right when I get there, I choke it with my right hand, and I kind of lift up with my left hand so it stops ringing. See what I mean? Rather than, I stop the notes. Okay, next thing is 10th fret of the B and high E, slide down to the seventh, both strings, right? And then seventh fret of the B and high E, slide down to the fifth. Next piece, hit the, the fifth fret of the B and high E that we just slid down to, and then hit the seventh fret of the G by itself. So, right? Let's uh, try that slowly, just that little piece. Here we go, three, four. Okay, so that's the first little bit. That'll repeat in, uh, later on as well. 